Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I am going to show you how to simplify and organize your tagging structure inside of Mem. A lot of people use way too many tags and as a result, their tags end up being completely useless. So they can't actually use tags to find the things that they're looking for. And if you're interested in building a second brain, be sure to check out our free ultimate guide to building a second brain. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. So I wanted to do this video because one of the things that trips a lot of people up is how to use and organize tags. And at first, there's this temptation to tag by topic. And the problem with tagging by topic is that when you tag your notes by topic, topics are infinite. And not only that, it makes them much harder to discover. So for example, let's say you have a note that's tagged neuroscience and you have hundreds of other notes that are tagged neuroscience. Well, then you have to sift through all those notes to figure out what's useful about that note. And sometimes that's going to make sense, but most of the time it doesn't. And this is something that Tiago Forte talks about in his book, Building a Second Brain, which is this whole idea of organizing your notes for actionability. And tagging is one place where we get really tripped up with this idea. And I included a screenshot here that came from Tiago's book, and this really stood out to me as a way to simplify and organize tags inside of Mem. So what you'll notice here is that anything related to his company, he actually uses a prefix titled FLBASB content, FLBASB marketing. And if you read my ultimate guide to building a second brain in Mem, which is published on the Mem blog, I actually talked about this by simplifying your tagging structure, everything becomes a lot easier to manage. So let's go into a couple of examples. The first thing I want to show you is how I tag blog posts that I'm working on inside of Mem. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search here for UC blog. And you can already see similar tags where I just do dash whatever it is that you know I want to look for. So if I bring up the tag, blog and let's have a look at a couple of different blog posts so one what you'll see here is that this has two tags and to me the best way to keep your tag simple is to follow what i call the two tag rule which is that you have one overarching context tag which is this one and so if i click on this tag you'll see every single note that's tagged as uc blog show up but each one of these blogs is in a different stage. So for example, this is an article that I started working on about the future of uh, network thought and how uploading our brains to the internet will actually be possible using tools like Mem. So you can see here that if I click here, I have certain blog posts here that show up because of the fact that this is tagged as UC blog. These are all the various ideas I have for blog posts. And you can see some of them have a few things in them. Some of them don't actually have anything in them. And so basically, for example, if something has something in it, it may not be a blog post idea. I could call it a work in progress, but I typically wait until I have enough information inside a mem to call it a work in progress. But speaking of works in progress, if you look here, you can see here that I have other blog posts that are actually tagged as works in progress. And so if I tag on works in progress, I can see there are several blog posts that I've been wor working on that I haven't quite completed, but I also know what's in progress. And I have another tag for other statuses like ready or published. So that actually ends up being a really easy way to simplify your tagging structure. So for example, another tag that I use because I have podcasts is a UC dash transcript and once i bring up the transcript tag here you'll actually see all my various podcast transcripts pop up and you can see here that each one of these is a transcript from the unmistakable creative podcast and if i wanted to really take para to another level and you know, call them all resources i could but there's really no need for that in mem because you don't have to remember where anything is saved but now that i've tagged every single thing here the transcript, it's always easy to find anything because of the fact that it's just one of many, a handful of contexts that I have to deal with. Now, imagine if I had tagged each one of these interviews by topic, it would actually be a lot harder for me to find the transcript for a particular interview. 
but I know who this person is and all I need to know is, hey, I'm looking for a transcript from this person and since I've named each transcript based on the person who the guest is, they're super easy to find because of this tagging structure. Let me go into one more example, which is a project that I'm currently working on. So the jobs to be done framework is something that comes from a book called Demand Side Sales. And one of the reasons I decided to do this project is I wanted to understand what it is that people who bought the Maximize Your Output with MemCourse were really looking for. So what you can see here is that I have all these related mems that come from Memex. But the really cool thing about this is, again, we can tag different things in different ways. So this is an interview with one of my uh, students from Maximize Your Output. And what you can see here is that anything that's tagged as customer interview will show up there. So that way, I don't have to tag this with much more than the main tag, which is the context, and the tag for whatever resource type this is. So within a project, for example, you might have jobs to be done, customer research, customer avatar, or jobs to be done, customer research, uh, new landing page copy, or something like that. So it, the other thing you can see when we use contextual tagging is it actually becomes a lot simpler to find things that you've created inside of MEMS. So for example, I have a bunch of landing page copy that I've written for various projects. And so when I just do a search for landing page copy with the tag, then what ends up happening is I get all the various versions of different landing pages that I've written uh, for different products that I've been working on. And so rather than having to say, where's the landing page for this? Where is the landing page for that? If I just click on landing page copy, every single piece of landing page copy that I've ever written actually shows up here. And then you know, we have email sequences. So I could, for example, look under launch sequences where I've categorized everything for the various product launches. And it might not come up because I'm capitalizing it, but no big deal. So the other thing I can do is, let's say that I want to look for the launch sequences for these different projects that I've been working on or different products that we've sold. I can basically just do a search for launch sequence as a tag, and then every launch sequence that we've created shows up right here. And this actually simplifies things quite a bit. So instead of launch sequence, now if you notice, here are all the emails from that launch sequence. and I basically, for most emails, will actually tag it as campaign email. So then if I click on the campaign emails tag, I can see all the various campaign emails. And you can see here that again, we get all of this information right there on our right-hand sidebar. The real key to simplifying and organizing your tags inside of MEM is to abide by what I call a two tag rule and try to limit the number of tags that you have on any particular MEM and try to tag by context more often than topic. Now, the handful of exceptions to this will be projects. And the main reason that's an exception for a project is because when you have a project, you're going to have a bit more metadata and that actually won't always make sense to follow a two tag rule. But the simple two tag rule is a really great way to keep your tagging structure very simple. And if you, for example, don't have a company for example, I have things that are labeled UC blog, UC newsletter, all of those kinds of tags, then you could just use your initials to replicate the same structure. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.